Simone singing Feeling Good here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Anjali Comet. Sunday's landmark health care vote came after nearly four hours of debate on the House floor. In his closing remarks, House Minority Leader John Boehner summed up Republicans' opposition to the bill. Standing here looking at a health care bill that no one in this body believes is satisfactory. Today, we stand here amidst the wreckage of what was once the respect and honor that this House was held in by our fellow citizens. And we all know why it is so. We have failed to listen to America. And we have failed to reflect the will of our constituents. And when we fail to reflect that will, we fail ourselves and we fail our country. Look at this bill. Ask yourself, do you really believe that if you like the health plan that you have, that you can keep it? No, you can't. In this economy, You Regular can't order, say Mr. that. In this economy, with this unemployment, with our desperate needs for jobs and economic growth, is this really the time to raise taxes, uh, to create bureaucracies, and burden every job creator in our land? The answer is no. Can you go home and tell your senior, senior citizens? that these cuts in Medicare will not limit their access to doctors or further weaken the program instead of strengthening it? No, you cannot. Can you go home and tell your constituents with confidence that this bill respects the sanctity of all human life and that it won't allow for taxpayer funding of abortions for the first time in 30 years? No, you cannot. And look at how this bill was written. Can you say it was done openly? Yes. With transparency and accountability? Yes. Without backroom deals and struck behind closed doors, hidden from the people? Hell no, you can't! Both sides would do well to remember the dignity of the House. House Minority Leader John Boehner there. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke next. She made the final statement from the House floor before the vote. We all know that the present health care system and insurance system, uh, health insurance system in our country is unsustainable. We simply cannot afford it. It doesn't work for enough people in terms of delivery of service, and it is bankrupting the country with the upward spiral of increasing medical cost. The best action that we can take on behalf of America's family budgets and on behalf of the federal budget is to pass health care reform. The, the best action we can take to strengthen Medicare and improve care and benefits for our seniors is to pass this legislation tonight, pass health care reform. The best action we can do to create jobs and strengthen our economic security is pass health care reform. The best action we can take to keep America competitive, ignite innovation, again, unleash entrepreneurial spirit, is to pass health care reform. Thank you. With this action tonight, with this health care reform, 32 million more Americans will have health care insurance. And those who have insurance now will be spared 
of being at the mercy of the health insurance industry with their obscene increases in premiums, their rescinding of policies at the time of illness, their cutting off of policies even if you have, have been uh, pe fully paying but become sick. The list goes on and on about the health care reforms that are in this legislation. Ensure 32 million more people, make it more affordable for the middle class, end insurance company discrimination on pre-existing conditions, improve care and benefits under Medicare, and extending Medicare solvency for almost a decade. Creating a healthier America through prevention, through wellness and innovation, create four million jobs in the life of the bill, and on doing all of that by saving the taxpayer $1.3 trillion. And now I want to just close by saying this. It wouldn't be possible to talk about health care without now acknowledging the great leadership of said Senator Edward Kennedy, who made health care his life's work. In a letter to President Obama before he passed away, he left the letter to be read after he died, Senator Kennedy wrote that access to health care was the great unfinished business of our society. That is until today. <laughs> House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. With that, the House voted 219 to 212 to approve the health care reform bill. We'll have more on health care reform tomorrow on Democracy Now! This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. We're broadcasting on over 800 stations, on Pacifica and NPR stations, low-power FM college and community radio stations, on public access TV and PBS TV stations, and both TV satellite networks, on Dish Network Channel 9415, Free Speech TV, 9410, Link TV, and on Direct TV Channel 375. And we're video and audio podcasting at democracynow.org. Our head Headlines are also available in Spanish for any radio station to take as over 250 are.